Hey and welcome back to the channel. We are just a couple of days away from the Gold Coast Marathon 2025. I'm wearing my 2024 t-shirt to get me in the vibe. And this is the video you've been waiting for. Is it going to be the Alpha Fly 3 or is it going to be the Adidas Adios Pro 3 for Gold Coast Marathon? Let's weigh it up. So I've done 363 kilometers in the Adidas. I've done London Marathon in them, Gold Coast Marathon last year, and Brisbane Marathon last year. So they have done me so well. Um, but are they gonna be replaced with the Alpha Fly 3? Now I wore these for the Noosa Marathon and they did really well, but I've only done 75 kilometers in them. So is it a risk? Let's dive in. So first of all, let's look at the weight. The Alpha Fly 3 in a US 12 comes in at 247 grams. If we take the Adidas Adios Pro 3 in a US 11 and a half, which fits the same as that 12, these come in at 255 grams. Um, I do have another pair of Adidas Adios Pro 3s. These are a US 12, but they fit literally the same as the 11 and a half. And these weigh 260 grams. But if you're really worried about weight on your feet, you could just cut a couple of toes off. <laughs> so let's start with the laces. Now the laces on the Adidas are pretty short. If you had to go for a lace lock, you're not going to have enough lace with them. Um, there are fairly basic lace and I definitely think they could be improved. Also the lockdown, you see these little tabs, I'll zoom in, they are, if they break then you are in serious trouble. So uh, you can't relace them, that's an issue with those. The good thing about the Nike laces is that they have that ribbed bit on them and they actually help lock in but you wouldn't you could get away with not wearing laces on these shoes because it's a fly knit and it just it just sticks to your foot there's good heel grip there um, they are harder to get on um, these are harder than the other alpha flies to get on you really feel like you're actually breaking some of this upper um, but the adidas actually if you look under a microscope they are uh, it's like a plastic knit weave but they fit like a normal upper on any normal shoe without the fly knit so there has been some corrosion issues with these where they've split down the side i've seen photos and i think that's where people wear them they're sweating them obviously like the salt is then corrosive and when i do a long run in mine or a marathon i always rinse them out afterwards and they dry really quick it's fit on really well. I don't tie them up too tight. I'm not one of those people who do my shoes up tight, but I don't mind the fly knit. They have this extra tab here, helps pull them on. The tongue is not gusseted at all. So that is pretty loose um, and it's quite thin. I reckon it could just do a bit a little bit thicker and a bit longer, but you do obviously save weight with that tongue on these obviously it's just all built in there isn't really a tongue and um, the insoles are glued down they don't move anywhere they are good no problem at all i wore these for the 42k the only issue afterwards was that i found my calf was hurting a little bit and that may just be that the shoe needs breaking in no problems with these though so that could be the foam the insole fine as well no problems at all with these uh, upper you know like it fits pretty good i have to say i don't really feel like there's too much upper let's go to the foam now the adidas they use the light strike foam and it's um not the peeba like um the nike they use a tpee foam which stands for thermoplastic polyester elastomer um, but I say they're so comfy. They really are comfy shoe. From the moment you put them on, they feel like slippers. And um, yeah, 
when you finish running in these the next day you can walk and they're good um, let's have a look at the carbon system in these they are a carbon infused rod now does that differ to a carbon plate well I reckon a carbon plate is sturdy it covers everything but these have been known to snap um, and how would I know if they're snapped without cutting the shoe open so they do have this cutaway so look, you could have an issue with that Nike have changed the whole system um, you know they encased the airpods uh, they've changed some of this there's less there's less grip there's there's less outer to cover the midsole there have been some wear issues for these as you can see mine are wearing already there the grip on these is continental um, on the outer sole and um, it's good they're lasting you know like that is nearly 400 k's I mean look it's pretty it's pretty good I can't complain on that the, the grips good even in the wet some weird cutouts on it but that just adds to the style I think it's a hard one to decide um, really what makes a difference to do is the next day comfort that you get um, how your legs feel afterwards and that makes it that has made a big difference with these super shoes I think for a lot of people these are new um, they probably still need a bit of breaking in there was a lot of people at London wearing these and um, yeah having run a marathon in both of them um, the shoe that I am going to go for at Gold Coast is going to be the Adidas Adios Pro 3 yep it's a trusted shoe um, I love them so much that I bought two pairs and um, they are my backup pair so I, I always tell people take two pairs of shoes of you to a race because you just never know what might happen I know I'll have a good run in them I think I need to put a few more K's in the Nikes but yeah so we'll see you on the start line in a couple of days time fingers crossed we have a good race and um, we'll see you in a couple of days <laughs>